guys my name is Mark and welcome to my channel um, in today's video I will do some tutorial and at the same time I will be learning something with you I wanted to uh, fix this problem with uh, YouTube's cover art that's not visible on mobile phone so uh, let's see you want to select um, this cover art for example and uh, we all know that it might look nice on TV, but I don't know many people that watch YouTube on TV. Most, uh, probably 80% of people watch YouTube on mobile devices. So, and uh, you can zoom in and you can see that it's only uh, a fraction of the screen that's visible. And everyone is trying to, and I really couldn't find a solid video on YouTube. That's why I decided to make one because I did learn a lot from YouTube and from content creators and I wanted to kind of pay back the community to show them my love, my support. And so here we go, let's get started. Let's learn something new today. And for today's video, I will be using Apple Keynote. Uh, it's the application that comes with your Apple you know, device. So yeah, so this is how it would look like. And we're trying to make it nice and pretty. So I've been working on making a logo, making cover art for hours. And when I tried to upload it to YouTube, all I saw was a disappointment. Uh, only half of my face was showing up, only uh, my arm or <laughs> whatever. It was very uh, depressing and upsetting. And uh, let's just do um, a new one. Let's make a new one using um, key Apple Keynote. So the recommended size for cover art as you can see right here is 25 60 by 1440 but when you're making a the actual uh, cover art uh, using Apple keynote it doesn't matter you could put you know 2600 by 1500 whatever as long as it's bigger than this so if you put something lower than smaller than 25 60 by 1440 uh, YouTube will not accept it so you could try it on your own, but I don't want to show you what will not work. Let's do what will work. And again, I am actually practicing with you guys. I am not a big pro. First time doing it, really. Uh, I made a lot of mistakes, and I didn't do it the, the right way. So let's do it right together. So okay, so Apple Keynote. I'm going to start from very uh, scratch. So we're going to go to File, New. And New Project is going to be plain black screen. And uh, what we'll do, what we need to do first is we need to uh, first go and click on document. Slide size comes in in standard four by three. We're gonna do custom slide size. And remember that Apple, um, YouTube suggested 2560 by 1440, but let's do, I don't know, 2600 by 1500, something like that. So now we have this middle of, of the screen. Let's see. Um, and we know that all of this will not be visible. Now the idea is to see how we have to bring it down. How low do we, have, do we need to drag it or bring it up? And again, I am practicing with you guys. I was able to save some of my work that I've done uh, for hours, trying to create a nice little design, whatever. Now let's try to input it here in this box. So this by default should be in the middle of the slide. Should be in the middle, maybe not quite. Maybe it's a little too high because the, dis the distance is a little bit um, too much. So let's just get rid of this completely and bring this down a little bit like this, I guess, right? And also one thing you can do, you can go ahead and um, Uh, what can we do? Oh, we can actually go ahead and uh, so insert the ruler so we can see, but it doesn't really matter. You can eyeball it really. So in this area, that's where my image should go. So let's do a test. Um, something like that. And we're going to format it to increase the... Oops. We, I want to maximize. I want to see what is the best case scenario. I want to max it out. Okay, and this, all right. So now 
we can export this as a picture okay so to export this we will need to do the following we're gonna go to file make sure it's keynote is selected you're gonna go to file and you're gonna go to export images and as images we only have one slide so it's uh, from one to one highest quality is all right so we're gonna do something like that we're gonna do a test cover YouTube um, what keynote will do they will create a special folder on your desktop or whatever you save it which will be titled um, whatever is gonna where is that folder okay never mind so now we're gonna go into Google Chrome uh, select and when we select we go to desk this is what we created right let me see how it looks all uh, right and just the crop okay actually it looks freaking perfect I did not expect that <laughs> this is cool so I I bold it pretty well well this is so what I know is this area in keynote this area that we selected is the perfect middle of the um, page so what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna you know change the background now <clears throat> the cover I'm gonna do the following I'm gonna work on stuff that I was doing before so what I was doing what I was working on in the past I created some logos some background pictures and whatnot so I'll show you what I mean I'm gonna do the media choose okay so now we know that this is definitely too big and we know that we need to fit this big picture in this little area right here little area right here so what we're gonna do is uh, crop it so by cropping and double click on it tap twice and then you can actually something like that now you see it kind of became smaller but again it's way too big for our side so I know that a lot of it won't be visible and um, let me see let me make this white so I know where I'm at, where I'm at. Um, boom 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 okay so I know that the top will not be visible I am okay with uh, not getting everything in the picture as long as my face is in it and and again guys I'm making it I'm doing it with you it's my very first time doing this the right way I've made a lot of mistakes doing it the wrong way so let's do it the right way together um, and oops 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 what did I do okay I don't know what I did I know that this portion right here will not be visible that's why I'm gonna minimize it. I can only work with this white area. Oh, maybe I don't really want to see my logo twice. Maybe I'm gonna keep it up to this point. Uh, you know what? <laughs> it looks a little weird, but whatever. Now we're gonna go ahead and um, hit file, export to images, bam, go back to desktop, where's our desktop, right here, and test cover art, I'm gonna save it as, I'm gonna override this, replace the old picture, Back to YouTube, cancel, change, 
I'm gonna select that uh, picture that I just created. Let's see what happens. Guys, guys, if it comes out to be okay, I'm gonna keep this crap. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, look, okay, uh, exactly how I predicted it. Um, yeah, yeah, actually it's perfect. I'm not gonna lie, I like it. I like it. can get my head cut off uh, remember I predicted the top not to be visible right here because of the uh, the sizing we went uh, outside of the box and now let's click on how it looks on a mobile phone approximately okay text is here the picture from my logo is here and uh, my little text I don't know guys it's a cheesy um, cover I know that but you know what I'm gonna keep it boom emails here okay blah, blah blah okay guys if you liked this video please leave a like I probably will not be making a lot of tutorials on how to make a, a cover art for YouTube <laughs> uh, be honest to be honest with you but uh, I will try to pay back to the community as much as I can uh, I've learned a lot from YouTube and from content creators so I wanted to kind of um, I was googling it and I was trying to find out how do I make the how do I make the um, cover art for mobile phones for YouTube and I could not find anything solid so I had to go through a lot of trial and errors and I could not figure this out I maybe I was just stupid I don't know I don't know what's going on but finally I was able to kind of eyeball it and approximate it and now we can probably use it uh, like that so if you guys found this video helpful leave a like i will not expect you guys to subscribe to my channel because my content is very different from uh, making tutorials however you never know maybe eventually uh, i will make an occasional video here and there about um, making something easier for people so that's the whole uh, purpose of youtube right to help each other all right guys thank you so much for watching i hope this video helped you somewhat and if it did leave a like and I'll see you maybe in my next video. Peace out.